John Gruden resigns after reports emerge of him using homophobic, racist, and misogynistic language in emails. But is it enough? Welcome back, and thanks for watching The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Before we dive into this news, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and then follow me everywhere at J. Ray the Fanatic. But right now, comment below and let me know your first thought when you heard this Gruden news. Were you surprised? Because I sure wasn't. Somehow for me, John Gruden just fits the profile. Monday, Gruden was exposed for who he really is, but I personally don't think his resignation is enough because this is not a one-off. While working for ESPN, Gruden used racially insensitive language to describe NFL Players Association Executive Director Damari Smith in an email in 2011. And I'm gonna do something surprising on this one. I'm going to give Gruden a pass. He basically made a racist comment about the size of Smith's lips. I'm going to write this off as jealousy considering there's been an APB out for Gruden's lips since birth. I think if this jealous moment was all that existed, we could all write this off as stupidity and just move on. But Washington strikes again, because if it had not been for the Wall Street Journal investigating the toxic culture of the Washington football team, we probably wouldn't even know about this. His comments about Smith caused an investigation, but he was just expected to get a fine about his racist comment. But that was it. Once it was revealed that he also used misogynistic and homophobic language to degenerate NFL peers from 2010 all the way to 2018 when he rejoined the Raiders, things got more serious. <laughs> Wait, so the racist comment just warranted a fine, but the hammer was about to come down when the misogynistic and homophobic language is used? Why does that sound familiar? Some of the hatred Gruden displayed was criticizing the emergence of women as NFL referees, as well as profane reactions to former Rams draft pick Michael Sam's entry into the NFL and being openly gay. He also had a problem with the league-wide tolerance of former 49ers safety Eric Reed protesting racism during the Pledge of Allegiance. Eric Reed, huh? So we just going to pretend if he had something to say about Eric Reed that the emails about Kaepernick weren't probably sent and probably long? Okay. Gruden, who was in the fourth year of a 10-year, $100 million contract, released the standard copy and paste apology. I have resigned as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. I love the Raiders and I do not want to be a distraction. Thank you to all the players, coaches, staff, and fans of Raider Nation. I'm sorry, I never meant to hurt anyone, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> College football made a great point in their tweet saying ESPN surely didn't note it at Monday night halftime, but John Gruden was a very, very highly paid ESPN employee when he sent the emails that led to his resignation. Just wanna make sure everyone is clear as to the skin ESPN has in how they shape this story. Which is why I don't think his resignation is enough. He didn't send those emails to himself. People from ESPN to the NFL made him feel it was okay to send such emails, and that only happens when that language has been used before. And if they actually were not comfortable with that language or thought it was wrong, they would have said something, but they didn't. So if this investigation does not result in more firings by the part of the NFL and ESPN, then this is just another damage control song and dance, and it means nothing. I think Keyshawn Johnson, who won a Super Bowl with John Gruden as his head coach, said it best. He just always been a fraud to me. He just always been a fraud to me. Never, never from day one, he's been a used car salesman. And people bought it. Exactly. So don't buy the entire used car lot. More than just Gruden needs to be called out and fired. Stop waiting for outside investigations to uncover the truth you already know. NFL and ESPN, you need to clean house. But to you investigative journalists like Andrew Beaton of the Wall Street Journal who continue to uncover the hate that happens behind closed doors, I salute you. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble and we'll see you next time.